In this video I'm going to be introducing you to my next build. This will be a Hackintosh dual booting in Windows 7 and OS 10.8. So first let me take you on a tour around their current setup. This is a Dell Dimension 5000 uh, back from the early 2000s. It's about 10 years old now and it has a Pentium 2 Duo and around 2GB of RAM so it's not exactly the speediest thing in the world and as you'll hear very soon the hard drive is pretty much dead. So what is going to be in the next build? It's going to be centered around a 3570k and it's going to have 8 gigs of RAM, it's going to have an SSD for Mountain Lion and that's about it. It's not going to have a graphics card because I don't do any gaming or anything. Um, I'm going to give them a 24 inch uh, U2412M monitor, you might have already seen the unboxing for that, uh, which is a really nice Dell monitor. So here if we go ahead and launch my computer, you're going to A hear how noisy the hard drive is and B see how long it takes to load that and while that is doing so, here are some more shots of the computer itself as a DVD writer and reader I think are the two drives and it's running Windows XP as you can see. So finally let's open my computer, that took a whole 35 seconds. So here are the parts I'm going to be using for the rebuild. For the case I'll be reusing the Z11 temporarily from my first build until I have modified a G5 which is what will be going in in the end. I'm in the middle of doing that so there will be some videos on that soon as well. I've got an Intel i5-3570K as the processor, a Gigabyte Z77DS3H, uh, it's a very popular Hackintosh board. CX430M power supply from Corsair, very reliable and modular, a 120GB SSD and some Vengeance Pro 8GB 2x4 sticks. Uh, so that should be nice and speedy if they want to do some Photoshop, that sort of thing. I also have a 1TB hard drive for Windows and also for storing their photos, documents, that sort of thing. Because uh, I'll download a program called Paragon NTFS which will allow them to access NTFS file systems uh, while in Mac which is good because then I can store everything on the Windows drive and still be able to access all that on the Mac side of things. So I think that just about wraps it up for the introduction. Don't forget to stay tuned for the rest of the series. There'll be a couple more videos coming on this. And also don't forget to check out my Hackintosh video. Thanks.